people to avoid connections with, and I'm done. Real quick, because I've been going an hour and 21 minutes. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. Um, um, People to avoid connections with, to avoid the unnecessary stuff. And I got an acronym for people, P-E-O-P-L-E. People to avoid connections to. Number one, problematic people. Problematic. If you always see, pro if, if problems are automatic in their lives, that means they're problematic. If there's always problems, it's like an automatic thing. Stay away from those people. Pressuring people. People <clears throat> like, like your family who's trying to press you into a marriage, avoid those people. And if it's hard to avoid them, avoid them here. Do not allow their words to affect you. Have a thick skin mentally. You got to have perspective points in your mind that helps you deal with the darts that are flying at your, at your way from friendly fire. Most of the stuff that's hurting us is not fire from our foes, but it's friendly fire. We got shot by our own person, our own family. We got shot by someone that's supposed to be on our team. You got to be able to avoid and keep out of your mind friendly fire from family and friends. So what happens is when they when 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 Satan threw a dart at Jesus, he threw the word back at him. So sometimes you ain't got to throw the word back at them because they ain't going to listen. They're going to keep doing it. So that doesn't mean you don't spend time with them. You just limit your time around them. But you got to make sure you change the way you think and know for a fact, what does the word of God say about this? I told the young ladies, look at their life. If their life don't match their advice, ignore them. If, if they're pressuring you and they're not happily married and you know it, don't, don't entertain it. Pressuring people. And other people to avoid connection. Now, I'm, I'm not saying avoid connection means bond, friendship, relationship. A uh, 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 companionship, a uh, friendship, relationship. We're talking about connections. We're not talking. We, people, you, there's going to be pressuring and problematic people around you at your job in your family. We're talking about connection. We're talking about being friends with. We're talking about being in a relationship with. You got to. If if their problems are automatic, get away from them. If they're pressuring, get away from them. And next P, non-promoters. People around you that always got something negative to say about your productivity. You gotta don't be connected with those people. They, they're trying to sabotage your idea because they know they they know I gotta have control. So if I talk bad about their dream and make them give up on it, they'll stay here. You gotta be around people who support you. Non-supporters or non-promoters, you gotta watch out for them. Why I've been around, I told you my idea, my business started and my ministry started, and you ain't supporting. People love supporting nothing. <laughs> People love supporting nothing. People who do nothing love supporting nothing. So when you doing nothing with their doing nothing, then they don't got nothing to say because you're around. But start doing something and see who your real friends are. Because those people who, who see you going up and start your business but won't buy a shirt, they see your business taking off and they want discounts. No. When a, when my, one of the young men that works at me, Mr. Mo, man, I buy his shirts. It don't matter what his price is. That's my brother. It doesn't matter what anybody do around me. What's the full price? If they're asking for discounts, don't sell them nothing. I, it is, I'm telling you. No, no, no. Family, listen to me. Stop asking your entrepreneurial son, your entrepreneurial daughter, your person in business and person in ministry. Stop asking for discounts. Support them. I don't care if they if their stuff is $60 overpriced. Support them. <laughs> hey, people who do nothing like to surround themselves with people who do nothing because it makes them feel comfortable for doing nothing. E, people to avoid connections with those with high ego and high emo. High ego, high emotions. Avoid those people. If she got emotional problems and he got ego problems, don't connect with them. You don't want to connect with someone that's ego, who's got a strong ego. They're narcissistic. They've been spoiled. Life is about them. Or no, do you want to be connected with a woman who hasn't been healed emotionally and she's high octane in her emotions? You got to not, because if you connect with a person with ego, you're going to get tired of being around them. You get so caught up with someone with, with emotions, high emotions, they're going to they're, they're slap you. She, 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 she's got bad emotions. You better not have no knives around her. You better not have no throwing objects around her. He got ego problems. He ain't going to be faithful because now he has to go from woman to woman to woman to boost his ego. 
You got to be lowly. You got to be humble. Because if, if your identity is in how many girls you can have, how much money you have, you're going to live a horrible life. We must do that when others want in order to have what others don't. That's right. People to avoid connections with, those who envy. If you hear them envying somebody else, trust me, soon they will envy you. People to avoid connections with, oh, the opportunist. The opportunist. People only around you for opportunities. No, you got to be, listen, I, don't, I only want people around me who are for me. I don't want to be around opportunists. I don't want to be around people that, oh, oh, you preaching in front of church now? Oh, oh, I didn't know you did this. Oh, oh, I didn't know you did that. Oh, oh, I didn't know you did this. When you got those kind of people, like, oh, oh, I don't, I didn't know you do this. And now the eyes get big. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's a partnership, if I can make, if I can gain opportunity, we both can gain opportunity, then we can go forward. But, but if you only around me for opportunity, you ain't here for me. Oh, no, no, no connection. You don't want to. Some people are in relationships with opportunistic people. They're only dating you because they want to get to the, to the guy you work for. They're only dating you because they want to be invested in your family. He's only dating you because he knows your dad runs this firm. She's only dating you because you got that bag that's going to be inherited to you. They're not married to you for you. They're married to the opportunities that come with you. Now, there are opportunities and blessings that come with you, but that should be third or fourth on their list of love for you. You got to love me. You just can't love the opportunities that come with me. People to avoid connections with the open mouths, the open mouthers, the open mouthers. Lord, if they talk too much, that means they ain't doing much. I don't want to be in connection. You're going to be talking about stuff that ain't got to do with purpose. You're going to be talking about stuff that don't got nothing to do with nothing. People always got their mouth open, always talking, always got something to say, always gossiping, always, always, always got something to say. Man, do you, do you got something to say about your way, your way of life? Don't build connection with those people because if you talk to those people, what you say to them will be said to others. People to avoid connections with, P, the prideful. Avoid the proud, proud. If you hang around the proud, you'll fall like the proud. Avoid people who praise too much. Why are you celebrating me too much? If you, listen, I want to be around people who, who are just as good at celebrate as they are in a, 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 a council. I don't want to be around people who always celebrate me. Man, you too into me. Are you opportunistic person? Why are you celebrating me so much? Are you not able to criticize me? Are you not able to counsel me and critique me? Are you are you able? Why is everything so good? Why are you praising me? I, I, don't, I ain't that dope. Watch out. Don't be connected to people that praise too much. They puffing your head up too much. And all of a sudden you floating and you and you you all out of the out of the uh common sphere, the common sense sphere. P people to avoid connection with people with poor character. I need to know who you are. In other words, poor character people are unpredictable people. No, 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 man. I need to know who you are. One day you're Superman, and the other day you're Batman. Who is you? Are you Superman or you're Batman? Are you Thor or are you Wolverine? Who is you? If 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 if, if they can if they are not who they are then you need to go, come away from where they are. People to avoid connections with, L, the lazy. People who got something to do, don't be around lazy people because they're only going to envy you. They're only going to have something to say about you. Don't be in connection with a lazy man. If you Listen, you, listen. don't marry no man who's lazy and don't marry no woman who's lazy. My wife works. I work. I got I to be, I gotta be with someone that works. I thank God I'm married to a woman that works. We're not talking about have to work. We're talking about who works her craft. <clears throat> you better look at that person. Listen, and don't marry somebody whose work ethic is strong in a way that's not God's way for them. Lazy when it comes to things of God, but very productive with the things that are not against. That's not a God. They're making money, but they're not going in the right direction. You better avoid lazy people. You better not get in connection with a lazy person. 
people to avoid connections with? Lookers and lingerers. They can't keep their eyes focused on nothing. They're always looking. They're always scheming. They're always lingering around, ain't doing nothing. Basically going with lazy. People to avoid connections with? Lustful people. You don't want to be married to a lustful man or a lustful woman. You don't want to be friends with a lustful person. Then you become friends with benefits. You thought you was just a friend. Now he, he said you was just a friend. You ain't no friend no more. You He wants benefits now. She wants benefits now. You got to avoid the lustful or the overbearing, desiring people. They're greedy. They're, they're, they're sexual. They're, they're emotional. You got to, if you got overbearing desires, how do I not know? They sane one day, got they in a right mind one day, and then they're in a wrong mind the next day. You got to avoid lustful people. People are full of lust. You got to avoid <clears throat> liars. Don't be, don't connect yourself with liars. Don't lie with liars. Because if they if they got lying in them, they're gonna lie to you. People to avoid connection with loose lip people. That goes with the open mouth. Oh, I think oh, open mouthers, the loose lip. They talk too much. People to avoid connections with those who don't love God. How can you sustain your commitment to God if they're not committed to God? We're talking about connections. There's people you work with that ain't going to love God. That's work. We're talking about deep personal connections. Last but not least, E, people to avoid connections with energy suckers. If you always feel drained around them, then you got to leave them. You want to you want to be connected to someone that pours just as equal as you pour into them, if not more. You want to be around people who got good energy. Like, man, if you negative Nancy and negative Nathan, and every time I'm around you, I got to hear about what happened back in 1947. I don't got time. I don't got time. I don't got time to be around people that drink. You leave the conversation. You're like, man, I'm tired. I feel like I work eight hours a day. Not only did you work eight hours, now you don't, now you don't, now you don't, now you look, now you got the weight of a person that worked 15 hours listening to them. People to avoid connections with the energy suckers. Last but not least, people to avoid connections with the erratic. Anger, lust, bam, they just all over the place. They're erratic. Unnecessary things happen to those who are always around the problematic or are problematic themselves. Pressuring, non-promoters, high ego, high emo, envy, opportunistic people, open mouthers, prideful praise too much, poor character, lazy, lingerers, lovers, not lovers of God, lustful liars, loose lips, energy sucker, erratic people. You got to also ask yourself the question, Am I problematic? Am I pressuring? Do I support those and promote those who are succeeding around me? Do I have a balance and ego and emo? Am I envious? Am I opportunistic? Am I is my mouth open too much? Am I prideful? Am I am I do it? Do I just praise people so much and I don't know how to hold nobody accountable? Do I got good character or do I have poor character? Am I lazy? Is my eyes loose and I'm lingering all the time? Am I lustful? Am I a liar? Do I truly love God? Is my lips loose? Am I, am I sucking people's energy and never energizing no one? Am I erratic? It's that simple. God wants us to be properly connected to each other. Next, we're going to talk about the power of touch. 